back to my channel. It's your girl Mercy. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. Um, if you're not a subscriber and if you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so you'll never miss an upload. This day I film for you guys a first impressions video featuring Sister Cosmetics. Sister or Sistar Cosmetics. I really am sorry if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, but they were kind enough to send me a huge PR package of literally like all their products. So I tried everything including eyebrows, eyeshadow, foundation, highlighter, even the lip. Everything is from there and you guys will get to see how everything performs. Um, I definitely fell in love with several products and I'm really surprised because some of them I wasn't too sure about. You guys will see my reaction in the video. I wasn't really sure about them. I was like, I don't know. But then it just like the plot twist was too real and it was filmed and it was live and you guys will get to see and experience all of that. So if you're ready to see how I transformed into this beautiful everyday uh, career girl slash I'm going to a wedding slash I'm going on a dinner day with my man using only sister cosmetics just keep on watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and I will definitely and surely see you guys in my next video I love you all so much and thank you so much for watching Bye. Um, so we're gonna get right into it um, I haven't actually opened all these products but I'm just gonna show you guys this beautiful first of all the packaging is amazing because I love this box I'm not even gonna throw it away because I need it this is like the stuff they sent me you guys like everything when I tell you they sent me everything they sent me everything should this be a thumbnail I don't know. So anyway, so that's that. So I'm just going to unbox everything first because I don't want to be on here opening everything for you guys. So I'm just going to unbox everything first and I'll be right back. Alrighty, everything is unboxed and ready to go. So first things first is to lotion my ashy ass hands and answer my boyfriend's phone call because he just decided to call me right when I started filming. Shout out to you, babe. Perfect timing. Hey, babe. I literally just press record and then you called. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, someone just left another hate comment. Today I've been deleting hate comments all day on my, on my Instagram. So we're gonna start with um, brows, of course. So I'm gonna use their Brow Perfecting Pencil and Charcoal to do, <laughs> to do my eyebrows. Um, this is what it looks like. This is a double-ended pencil i don't really care for pencils to be honest i'm more of a gel or pomade gal so we'll see how this goes and just because they sent me makeup doesn't mean i'm not going to give my honest review i have to make sure that if i'm going to promote something and recommend something that it's actually something i would use so yeah you guys don't have to worry about it not being legit or whatever but i'm going to do one on camera and then one off camera just to save time It feels very smooth. It almost feels like waxy, which most eyebrow pencils are usually waxy, so that's not a bad thing. Getting on pretty smoothly. Oh my gosh, I haven't used a pencil in so long, so this just feels foreign. But we're gonna work with it. And like I said, this is in the color charcoal, so I don't wanna put too much because I don't want it to be too dark. And then just kind of brush through here and bring some of that same product that's still on the spoolie up here. Okay, I mean, it's pretty pigmented. I didn't have to like rub it too hard. But if you're a beginner and you're just starting out with makeup, this is a really good pencil. Because I recommend for beginners, if you're gonna learn how to do your eyebrows, I always recommend you use a pencil first instead of going into pomades because pomades are very, they can go left quickly. Like, it can go left quickly. <laughs> so you wanna make sure that you're starting off with something as easy as possible. So I like that. I'm just gonna work with that for now. And then I'm gonna take their concealer, their It's You Skin Perfecting HD Concealer in the color bronze. And I put a little bit on the back of my hand to sculpt my eyebrows with it. Shout out to you guys for actually sending me these products. Like, that is so nice. Like, the fact that a brand could just send you their entire makeup line, that's so dope to me. Like, I'll never get over that. Ooh, this concealer feels very thick. Oh, this is not bad. I like it. The consistency reminds me of my LA girl. So, you know, I'm all about that. I really like this concealer. I mean, as far as the color, it's not too bright. If you're my skin tone and you're looking for a concealer that's affordable, 
um, this one is it. This is really good. It's, it doesn't feel any different from my LA Girl, if anything. So, I'm here for it. Alright, so I'm just going to do the next eye off camera and I'll be right back. Voila! The eyebrows are done. And as you can see, they look bomb. They look just as popping as they always do when I do my own makeup. So, I've already um, moisturized my face. Um, I don't know if I want to start with the eyes or the face. But to be honest, I'm just really excited about the skin products because I have a thing for just perfection and no flashback and just, you know, the whole shebang. So, I think I'm going to start with my face because I'm not going to do a very highly complicated look. Um, I have actually played with their palettes before. We did a collaboration last year with just the eyeshadows but I want to try their skin products because that's like the thing that I'm excited about especially that concealer because as you can see that was some good ass concealer okay I'm just gonna go ahead and grab their primer this is the it's you skin smoothing primer this is the hydrating one I did rec uh, did request the hydrating one so I'm just gonna try it and see how it feels all right so I'm just gonna use my hands because why not oh it feels good and it smells good too oh my gosh it smells really good I'm just gonna put it in most of the areas where I get pores and as you can see it's I mean I feel like it's blurring yeah that feels good that feels really good grab so they sent me two foundations she sent me morning coffee as well as chocolate chip so I'm just gonna try chocolate chip because I feel like that one would be more my color but I'm just gonna swatch them for you guys so you guys can see all right so that's what they look like so this one is morning coffee and this is chocolate chip so I think I'm gonna go ahead and use chocolate chip chocolate chip is up here and morning coffee is right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and use chocolate chip because that's more my color or my undertone because it's golden undertones okay so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on my face I don't want to put too much just in case it's like it misbehaves Ooh, color is a little different but okay okay so I'm just gonna see how it blends I don't know about this color right now. I don't know. What do you guys think about this color? It looks a little weird. Does it look like it looks a little green? It looks weird. Maybe I should mix a little bit of morning coffee in there because this does not look like my color at all. Let me, let me put a little bit of morning coffee in. See what happens. God, I'm scared. I hate first impressions because they just I look crazy on camera. Oh my god. Let's just add a little bit of morning coffee and kind of give okay that kind of helped. I just don't know about the color. Maybe you should have mixed morning coffee and this, but I mean the coverage is pretty good. It doesn't feel heavy on my skin. It looks good. I like the coverage. I like that the undertone didn't like oxidize or do anything weird. So that's fine. I mean, we can work with this. And then I'm going to grab their It's You Skin Perfecting HD Concealer in bronze. So we're going to use bronze under. Ooh, it's a little bright. Okay. Y'all know how I feel about bright under eyes. I'm just going to work with it because I'm just going to do the same exact thing I do on a regular basis. I'm not going to try to do anything or overcompensate or do anything different. I'm going to do my same exact routine just the way I do it. Okay, it blends really nicely. Wow, it blends like a dream. Yes, absolutely. I, it's, yep. Mm -hmm. This concealer can get it. Okay. <laughs> It didn't even, like, it looked really bright, but the way it blended, oh my god, it blended so beautifully. Like, honestly speaking, this concealer has impressed me. I really like how it blends. I like that the color is right on point, like, with my skin tone. I just, I'm really here for it. So, shout out to y'all. Your concealer is popping, okay? And it blends like a dream. You guys can see it blends like a dream. It's not heavy on my under eyes. So I'm really here for it. And then I did request that they send me a concealer to contour, but the way this one is set up, it's definitely not going to make a difference on my skin tone. Like this, I don't, you yeah, know, I don't, I don't think it's gonna do anything. Okay, I mean, it's doing something, shoot. Huh. Okay, Sister Cosmetics with the plot twist. Okay, there's clear indication of product on my face and it's blending beautifully. It's going to be kind of my favorite contour shade to be honest because it's not red at all it's a cool tone concealer so it's doing what it oh my gosh okay excuse me for talking crap about this concealer because i actually love it it's very 
like it's perfect this is like my perfect shade oh my god sister cosmetics y'all might have just did something let's just hope this setting powder does the same it has the same effect sis, because i'm nervous okay i'm nervous all right so far everything has impressed me and i'm very happy so far so i mean we're almost halfway done and now i'm going to grab the it's you skin perfecting finishing powder in the shade translucent this is what it looks like right here i have a, a love hate relationship with translucent powders I hope to God that this does not have any flashbacks. I'm going to take my beauty blender, dip it in there, just like I would with any other powder, and I'll go ahead and set my under eyes. I'm so nervous, you guys. I don't want this to mess up my makeup because I really like this. It's literally melting into my skin. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm done. Did you guys see how it just melted into my skin? This stuff. Y'all, oh my god, okay, all right, I'm impressed and I'm basically done with my face, so you guys have So now I'm going to grab the contour palette. This is what it looks like right here And it does come with a light shade a dark shade and a highlighter and I'm gonna grab this dark shade right here Wow, this powder is amazing like it's actually true to color I really like that these these products are neutral because slowly but surely I'm realizing that I like neutral products or neutral colors to contour like this is probably my favorite things that I've tried today is okay everything was amazing not gonna lie like everything is amazing ah! oh my god sister oh, y'all just did something I'm literally like confused like what what have I been doing and you guys saw the price on the screen like come on now come on come on y'all come on like you guys can't say nothing like they're doing they're winning right now sister cosmetics is winning right now okay and then I'm just gonna go over everything with my face brush with no product on it and just blend everything together so there's nothing so that everything blends with each other I'm just gonna use this a little bit of this powder on my forehead because I don't have a face that didn't send me a face powder that I can use so I'm just gonna use that on my forehead and just set that area but everything else is bomb you guys oh my god I'm so impressed I can't even deal all right so now that we've done that I'm going to set my face before I put on my highlighter and I'm gonna use their it's you setting spray this is what it looks like right here and I already sprayed it earlier and it smells amazing it smells so good oh my god okay yes 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 oh my good all right so i'm gonna go ahead and start my eyes my eyes were already primed earlier they sent me two palettes they sent me their pink blossom eyeshadow palette and also their sunkissed eyeshadow palettes and i'm gonna show you guys what they look like this one is the sunkissed one i'm actually using the this is what it looks like right here and then this other one is their pink blossom palette and this is what that looks like right there okay I think I'm gonna go into the sun kissed one because it's calling my name I'm gonna grab this shade right here and I'm gonna put that in my crease and as you can see that's pretty pigmented so just kind of bring it back and forth blend the edges out so it doesn't look crazy and then I'm going to grab this shade right here and I'm going to place that obviously in my crease and blend. Look at that. Ooh, that's pretty. Obviously, I'm not experiencing any fallout just yet. As you can see, there's no fallout on my face. It's doing a good job, not going to lie. And then just take this brush and blend that out. Alrighty, so then I'm going to grab a flat brush like this and I'm going to grab hmm where am I going to do gold I'm gonna grab this color I'm gonna grab this color right here this one right here and put it in my uh, mobile lid and I'm gonna not spray it first just to see the pigmentation and the color payoff and then we're gonna spray it if we have to okay all right so it's not as pigmented as I thought it would be to be honest but that looks pretty it kind of just deposits the glitter it's kind of just depositing the glitter and I, I appreciate it but I thought it was gonna be a lot more pigmented so I'm just gonna take the spray and spray my brush a little bit like so I'm gonna use my finger if it doesn't show up again see when you wet stuff pigmentation is there. Guys, so I'm gonna grab their liquid lips liquid liner. Where is it? 
what it's called. It's their Eye Contour Precision Liquid Eyeliner in black. And I'm just gonna line my eye because this is the type of look that you do a very dramatic eyeliner, so. Oh my God, I love how sturdy it is. It's like very, very sturdy. Oh, okay. It's like, oh my goodness. I'm like highly impressed with this freaking brand right now. Like, okay, so far so good. And then I'm just gonna wing it. Okay, as you can see, the liner is pretty dope like that. It's so black, it's so nice. So I'm just gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back to highlight and finish the rest of the face, okay? All right, so the lashes is on and the other eye is done. So now we're good to go. I'm just gonna start working on my under eye. And as far as the lashes, I'm not, they don't have lashes, so I just have to use my own. Um, so I'm gonna go back into the palette and I'm going to grab this shade, the mattes. Let me tell you, the mattes are bomb. I have used this palette before. I think I used the other one actually, but I have used this palette before and I love the mattes. The shimmers, however, some of them, like this one I hadn't used before. It was a little iffy, but I mean, it did the job. This is definitely one of those palettes for beginners. It's definitely not a, a palette that you can do a very dramatic look with. I mean, you can work with it and see if you can create a cut crease or not. But these are the type of palettes to me that are so easy and so accessible to beginners and so recommendable to beginners because they're just so pretty like look at such this is such a beautiful easy look that you can accomplish I'm just gonna go into this color one more time and just kind of uh, smoke out that under eye with this color she did send me a ultimate defined gel eyeliner this is what it looks like right here it comes with a smudge side and also the liner itself it's a obviously a retractable type of liner and I'm just gonna use this on my waterline and see how pigmented this is because you know I can't go nowhere without no eyeliner girl oh wow that's really pigmented one swipe oh my gosh that was literally one swipe no joke like what that is hella pigmented look at that this is literally creamier than the Sigma the Sigma one that I've been swearing by Oh my god. All right, and then I'm gonna go back to the same brush that I used and kind of smudge that out a little bit. So I'm just gonna spray myself one more time because I just, I love this setting spray so much. I just wanna, and also it's gonna help, help prepare for the highlighter that we're gonna use. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight my face at this point. Um, and I'm gonna use their Lit and Glow Luminizer Palette, or at least I'm just gonna swatch it first because they look a little bit powdery, but... And I'm gonna go ahead and use the highlighter in this palette here. So th let's just try this one first. Just gonna give it a shot because why not? Ooh. I don't know, guys. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm not really liking it so far. And I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm gonna give this one a shot. I'm gonna use the middle one. The middle one here. Oh, whoa. This brand keeps surprising me. Like, I don't know what to do anymore. I wasn't expecting that. I was, it swatched very chalky, but when you apply it on the face, it's very nice. Oh my God. I'm here for it, I'm here for it. <laughs> Um, and then I'm just gonna use their mascara here. This is the Glam Up Mega Curling Mascara. This is what it looks like. The packaging is pretty cute. And I'm just gonna go over my lower lashes. Yeah, I really like this one. As you can see, the mascara is, you know, on point, so. All right, so what else haven't I used in this box? Oh, you know what? They sent me a glow glitter shine like a diamond liquid shadow in the color bright bronze and I forgot to use it. But I'm just gonna pop this into my like corner right there and see what happens. <laughs> I'm scared and I'm excited at the same time. But that just like added a little bit more glitter and I'm just blending it out weird, you know? But that's pretty. It like added a little bit of drama to the eyes. Just a little bit. So I'm just gonna do the same to the other eye so it doesn't look retarded. That actually looks really pretty. Like it added, like it definitely just like did something. Alright, so I'm just gonna stop because this is pretty. I'm definitely gonna use this in a different looks at some point. 
but that's pretty all right so now I'm just gonna do lips did I even show you guys what this looks like this is what this looks like it's so pretty the packaging is so so pretty oh my god okay so they sent me a lip liner and this is what it looks like it's a smooth touch auto lip liner this is what it looks like what color is this brown it's dark brown very very creamy I like I look a little crazy but it's okay and then they sent me a lipstick in the shade chestnut jam this is what it looks like right here I don't know how this is gonna look good they also did send me a lip paint called Rouge Charmant I don't know about that lip but um, we're basically done here this is the finished look you guys as you can see This all this stuff is all very affordable. Again, I had fun doing this first impression look for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much, and shout out to Sister Cosmetics for sending me all these products. I do want to talk about the things that I liked and didn't like. I the only thing that I did not like were the eyeshadows, um, just the shimmer shadows because those were just very like not in, not pigmented enough. But I really really like this glow glitter stuff. This stuff was amazing. It kind of just like took my look to the next level the mats are amazing the foundation was pretty I did have a little bit of trouble with it though because the color wasn't exactly what I thought it was gonna be um, I had to mix both of them but it worked out the concealers were amazing the dark shade ended up working so perfectly the contour palette was great the highlighter palette ended up shocking me because I didn't expect it to be like it looked chalky on my hand but then I applied it and it looked way better than the highlighter that was in the contour palette so I was like yo the plot twist was real today with this with this brand so shout out to you guys the primer was dope this lipstick is going on me it's cute or whatever but yeah other than that this 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 tutorial is done thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you comment like and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video Mwah! bye